Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebby TB and this is where I do it. What am I doing today? Well, today I'm making American chop suey. Well, that's what we always called it. Some people call it goulash, but I've always been called you know, calling it American chop suey. And I'm going to be making it tonight with rotini. So tonight's rotini is going to be actually the leftover bag of stuff from the Dollar Tree video I just did. And so we're going to actually take that leftover and we're going to make up the rotini, make some uh, chop suey. And I'm making enough today to be able to use tomorrow for baked rotini. And so tonight is chop suey. I'll show you how I make American chop suey today. And then tomorrow we'll take the leftovers and turn that into baked rotini. Let's get into the kitchen. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. We've got our sauces. We've got the rotini. We're gonna actually use this first and then break into this box if I need to tomato uh, soup, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, sweet Italian sausage, and some hamburger. And we're going to make, um, we're prepping this for three different meals, but we're going to prepare our rollover dinner for just two. So the first one that we're going to prepare for is chop suey. And I'm going to start with prepping for that with getting my my meat cooked so we're going to start off with the ground sausage first then move on to the hamburger and i will combine two of those and make the sauce for the chop suey with about half of this hamburger and then the other half of this hamburger and this ground sausage will go into a mix for a bubble up bake i'm doing for the lunch for today because this is going to be dinner um and then the other half of the hamburger sausage mix will go into the leftovers for the sauce for the chop suey from tonight. So I hope you can follow along with that. I'm really prepping here for three, but I'm only making two for this video, which is going to be the American chop suey and the um, uh, rotini, the baked rotini. So. That's what we're going for first, and these are what I'm starting with. So, like I said, this is going to be, um, what, this is, let's see, how much is that? Just about a pound? A little over a pound. A little over a pound of ground sausage, about a pound of uh, hamburger. And like I said, I'm dividing this between three meals, um, but for the sake of today's video, we're only making two. All right, our sausage is about cooked. And the reason I'm showing you this step is because it is going to go into our meal prep for tomorrow. Um, and so basically that's why I'm showing you what I'm doing today with this, because I'm using this for two meals and the hamburger for three meals. I wanted to show you how I'm prepping that all up. Um, so I'm gonna remove this from the pan and I'm now gonna add in my hamburger and we're gonna brown that up. All right, now we got the hamburger in there. I've got our drained sausage on the side here. Don't you just love my um, food storage bins? We're all about recycling around here. So with this, I'm going to add uh, the seasonings, the garlic powder, onion powder, and um, Italian seasoning blend, and get this frying up. And then once this is all done cooking, I'm going to drain it. And then I will divide it up between what I'm keeping for the American chop suey and then what I'm putting in here to combine the sausage for the other two meals that I'm making, which will be tomorrow night's um, bake and today's pizza bubble up bake for lunch, but you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> okay, so we've got our burger all drained here and we've got our sauce cans open. So I'm just gonna add them in. And first is this one here. We've got the old Del Monte traditional. And yes, it's a beat up can, but I'm sure it was pretty good before they sent it through the mail, which was crazy. I don't know why they sent it to me. I had put it on a pickup order and they had put it in the mail apparently. So, and then we got our tomato soup. So we've got two cans of Hunt, well, one can of Hunt's, one can of Del Monte, and you can use whatever sauces you like. 
And we always do tomato soup in our chop suey. Help stretches out a little bit, a little bit of time. And we've got all those, you know, fun um, spices in here too. So this right here, I'm gonna just get this melted to melded together. And I'm gonna let it set for a while. Uh, so that that can develop the flavors before I actually make tonight's dinner. So I'm going to let this cook for a little while, uh, bring it up to a small, slow simmer, and then turn it off and let it sit in the, in the uh, sauce for a while so that the uh, flavors can marry up. And then we'll come back when I'm boiling noodles. All right, so this is our big pot of chop suey. So this is going to be what the guys are having for or what's for dinner tonight. And this right here would be the serving size. So obviously there's gonna be plenty of this left over to turn into tomorrow night's rotini bake. So this right here has just got a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. And tomorrow we'll come back. We've got our extra sauce to the side over here. We have our extra meat to the side over here. And this is all the stuff that will end up turning tonight's leftovers into tomorrow's dinner. We'll see you in the next clip with tomorrow's dinner. So, it is now the next night, and I am preparing from our leftovers. I'm actually going to use the leftover pizza sauce that I have here just to use it up um, as a little bit of extra sauce to go in on top of this extra leftovers that we made extra of yesterday, the chop suey. This right here is the leftover meat and... Uh, um, mixture that I had used in the pizza bake and the extra sauce that was left over from our chop suey yesterday. And I'm going to be using ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan cheese. And in our little baking pan here, we're going to create some delicious rotini bake. So let me get you on the tripod and I'll show you how All we right, do it. So I thought I hit record, but I didn't. And I just missed a clip of me mixing up the um, mozzarella cheese with a quarter cup a, of a Parmesan, a cup of mozzarella shredded cheese, and that whole package, uh, the small tub of ricotta cheese is mixed up in here. No egg, anything else like that, because everything else is already cooked and I didn't have to want to worry about that cooking. Everything else in here is fine to eat as is so even if it doesn't quote unquote get cooked all the way through i'm not worried about any um uncooked egg in here so what we're really trying to do is just warm everything through so anyway we've got our cheese mixed up here we've got our pan here we have our leftover chop suey here we have our leftover sauce with our more meat mixed in and we're going to just thin it back out again with the rest of this pizza sauce and if you needed to open up another can of of sauce then that would be fine as well my oven is ready to go so let's get to layering this deliciousness okay so basically i've got the pizza sauce all stirred into this here and now we're just going to use half of this for the bottom layer. Just putting it all right in. And then you're gonna just push it right down into the bottom of the pan here. I don't grease it because it doesn't really need it. It's not gonna be in there long enough to really bake for Ever. You're just trying to warm it through. So we've got our base layer there of chop suey. And here is now the meat rich layer. We're going to do two thirds of the sauce here because we're just going to do this one kind of sandwich style. So this is going to go on top here. Let me get that out of the way. There we go. So this is going to help to rehydrate the noodles some because as they sat overnight, of course, you know, they soaked up the moisture. And so this kind of helps to give them a little bit of that moisture back and helps to 
change up the way that your bake is going to taste or your meal. And now we're just going to put the cheese layer on. And if I don't use all that cheese layer, that's fine. I can just pop that whole thing right in the freezer and use it in something else like stuffed shells or to do this again. Um, so that's kind of the benefit of having this is that I can, it's like the meal that keeps on giving, but I can use the things that are in it for the next meal. Like I used leftovers from both yesterday's meals, the pizza bake and the, uh, chop suey to now create tonight's dinner. So this is a good rollover meal using all of those leftovers and using uh, using other things to uh, recreate them in a different way. And so I used about half of that cheese mix, if you can see there, and this will put away. And now we're going to just top the Sorry if I put that in the way there. Top that with the remainder of the chop suey. And we'll put some more sauce on the top there. And then we'll get out some more mozzarella cheese and sprinkle that on the top. And I'm going to put this in a 375 degree oven. As you heard, it's already heated up, ready to rock and roll until it looks done. So as soon as it comes out now, I'm overfilling this just by a smidge, but that's okay because I'll put a sheet pan underneath it to catch anything that drips over on the edge. From the bacon, meaning baking, not bacon as in the pork product, which I don't know if that would taste very well on here. Somebody else there would probably say it tastes delicious. My kids are going to tell me that they're going to eat this with sriracha. They said they're on a sriracha kick, so everything is going to have a taste of sriracha on it. Get that edge. There we go. So there's that. And now, just a little, little bit. I'm going to turn you so you get a little closer. There we go. Now, I used, like I said, about a cup out of here. Maybe a little bit less than a cup in that mix. I'm not going to use a lot more on the top. So again, I'll have more of this to be able to use for another meal. And that's how we stretch things out around here is kind of use extra other things to, ch you know, transform. And I call these the rollover meals because I just roll over one meal into another meal and I just do a little bit of something different to it to try to change it up. Like when we have taco meat left over, turn that into taco mac and cheese if I have it left over macaroni and cheese, you know. I just change it up so that it's not the same exact thing and nobody complains because the first meal tasted great and then the second meal they can't believe came out of the first meal. So anyhow, that is what it's going to look like. We're going to put her in the oven and bake her till she's done. I'll show it to you when she comes out. All right, so this is what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is our baked rotini. As you can see, it looks beautiful. And this right here was an intentional rollover dinner. I've got my spoon in here ready to take out a corner of this just so you can see what it looks like in the middle there. As you can see, there's our cheesy layer. And that's what it looks like. I'm gonna let this set for a few minutes. We've got bread going in the oven for our side dish. And that is our second dinner. So, like I said, last night we made chop suey. We had made enough so that we could intentionally make this tonight. 
Um, I used some leftovers from another meal that was in cohorts, sort of, with it, but I wanted to show this part of it. Um, so I used the leftovers from that to create this delicious meal for our dinner tonight. And guess what, folks? That's how Rev BTV does it. 